hey y'all welcome to my channel thank you so much for joining me for another video if this is your first time watching welcome my name is ebony and in today's video i want to share the um projects that i made for the autumn autumn's coming group swap with bb's crafty peeps on facebook for the swap we were in groups of um three no groups of two make two receive two but i made three one for the host um, we had to make fall or autumn theme and choose from three of the lists that she gave us. One was a memory decks card. One was a packaging set where you make three sets of packaging that fold flat. You can do shaker embellishments, a four by four mini embellishment book, four sets of flowers, four sets of bows, and or a mini pocket letter. So I did the bowls, the packaging set, and the flowers. These are the bowls that I use. I use the medium holiday bowl for my creative time, as well as the fun size. Um, this one is an AliExpress bow. It's those four pieces. And then I use the Scrap Diva Designs double loop bow set. I also use this Sizzix Stainless uh, Bag Topper die. And the paper that I used is, this is a fold is in the air. I just stuck it all in one envelope because these are basically scraps. So this is a perfect autumn. And then I have a couple of sticker sheets. Perfect autumn. And this other one is, I don't know what this one is. But this is all the stuff that I use. A lot of fall papers, older collections from my stash. So I had did some tags separately in a separate project share video that I said was going to go on the front of my packaging. These are the tags. And they're those uh, tags you can get from Michaels that came in the box set. The cardboard tags. I just covered them with some paper and some of the stickers. Like I said, I do have a separate project share for this. I use some of those flowers from Cuddle Me Clay Tay and then some ribbon and seam binding from my stash. On the back, I have this sticker. Thank you for swapping with me. I hope you enjoy what I created just for you, Ebony. My social media is up there on the top. And these bags have handles on them. They're all packaged the same. So that's how they'll go packaged. And here is what I created. I left this one open. I have my tag with the seam binding and this is the ribbon that I'm going to put on there. These are the handle bags. They do have gusset so they do open pretty wide. But I tried to seal them so they would go as flat as they could. And here are all the pieces of my swap. That's how the bag looks. I got those off of Timo I think. If anyone's interested leave it in your comment and I can link them to your comment. So for my goodie, I included this Crafter Square crafting paper. These are all the different designs. There's 16 sheets and eight different designs in the paper. And then I also included in some of the uh, Werther's Original Pumpkin Spice Caramels. Here are my bows. I packaged them separately with the Sizzix topper. It's one of Monica's flowers. And then these flowers from Hobby Lobby. Just use stickers from the collection. Let me take these out so you can see my bows. I did more than three just because. So here are my bows. So my creative time, the larger one, and then two of the fun size. I did this one with a burlap flower and then I did some big leaves in the back. That's the Scrap Diva bow and here's that flat bow from Allie. Everyone has the same amount of bows. The paper might be different, but the number of bows is the same. And all of the packaging is also the same. I have my handmade sticker there on the back. And for the flowers, I use Monica's flowers for my swaps because I love them. I like to share them and I have a lot. And I have on the back flowers created by Monica at Scrap and for my boys, gifted from Ebony at Sharing More. So I include this really pretty burgundy, this dark green, this lighter like forest green, and then a white to match the collection. Sorry if there's a glare. 
and for my packaging I did three boxes this first one is a gable box with a leaf cut out in the front they're all packaged individually I did a little tag that says happy fall y'all with some seam binding I also included this Anna Griffin satin bow and then in here is some I want to say enamel dots so this is the gable box it's a no glue box for the closure I'd already um, glued the sides so all they have to do is fold it it goes one two three and then this tucks in that's the gable box I did use some acetate there in the front trimmed out the window in some basil cardstock and also did the hole reinforcers with my little hole reinforcer punch so that's the first box for the packaging set for the second box um, this one is a pillow box and I have an example of what it looks like so this is an example of what this box right here looks like I did include like a large flower like I have here I did a tag and another little bow so I did include like a tag and some pieces and some seam binding to go with this box but this is how it folds together and then I did another little this is a square box and I actually embellished it um, because I think it said it had to have at least four embellishments on it and some kind of tag or card so for this one this is a little square box I did use double-sided paper so it folds and this tucks in here and then these fold over And the handles go through this little hole here and then this folds over and it tucks in the side like that so this is a little square box I use some of these mini paper studio flowers and a sticker on the front and then I did do like a card that's actually bigger than the box but I did a little card from some cut aparts or some craft card stock and I also cut out some tags that match the box and I left this blank just did some twine um, so they can just tie that on if they wanted to so that is all I created for this swap I hope my partners like what I created I can't wait to see the reveals if you're not already subscribed to BB's channel um, I will link it down in the description box if you have any questions leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and have a great day. Bye.